What do we have going on here? What do we have going on here? The Phillies have acquired JT Realm moved from the Marlins. That is a great acquisition right there. JT did really good with the Marlins. He did really good with the Marlins, actually. He's uh, hands down one of the best catchers in the, ma in the major leagues right now. So that's going to help the team out a lot. Oh, hey, thanks for joining me. Let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Gabriel Gomez. And uh, see what I'm watching here, you know, see a little bit of insider, see what's going on uh, in Major League Baseball. It's going to start soon. Before I get into a little more, you know, a little bit about myself. I love baseball, as you can clearly see. Baseball has been in my life since I can remember, since I can, since I can walk. Baseball has been around. Played baseball all through my life, all through high school. My parents played baseball and softball. My brother played baseball in college. He played it in the majors. So as you can see, love has been there. A little bit more about myself, you know, I am a Army veteran. I also am a recent graduate from uh, Full Sail University with uh, my bachelor's in sports casting and product and, uh, production. A little bit more about myself. Uh, I am bilingual, uh, born and raised in Miami, and then lived in New York for a while. It, you know, it's just sports has been in my life since forever, and it's you know I love it. So why not try sports casting? Why not do something that I love? So, you know, I decided to hey, let's do this. I can do it. But there's you know more than just baseball. There's as you see behind me, there is basketball, there is football. I could talk to you all day about sports, not just baseball. You know, I could tell you, you know, the Patriots showed up to the Super Bowl. The Rams did not. I could tell you why Dwayne Wade is hands down one of the best guards that the league has ever seen. I could sit here all day and talk to you about it. But, you know, the question is, Will you listen? That is the true question. But little things that I learned in my time at Full Sail is uh, not just, you know, learning is uh, like, for example, one of those presentations, how to captivate an audience, how to make sure that they're listening to you, not just watching. Because you want people to actually listen to you. You want people to know that what you're saying is the truth. Um, another one that we learned is uh, vocal techniques, how to speak fluently and make sure that our audience understands the message that we're trying to get across. You know, we always want to make sure that people understand us. I take that into account as imagine yourself with me, sitting with me across a table, a bar whatever the case may be, and we're shooting back and forth. Just say, hey, this is what I think. Hey, this is what I think about this. This is what I think about this player. This is what I think about this pitcher. You know, and just sitting there and just being captivated by what I'm saying. You're like, Whoa, yeah, you're right. That's what I want to bring to the table. That is what I want people to see. I want people to see that there is more than just watching. You know, I want to come and say, wow, yeah. This is this is true. I want to. I like what he's saying. You know, I agree with what he's saying. Those stats are right. I bring determination, passion, drive. Is none like uh, no other. I bring all of that to your to the table. I love sports. I, I go by the saying that says, "If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life." And that is true. Sports is more than just a career. It's my passion. It's what I love. Like, for example, the Heat send John, Johnson and Allen to, to the Suns. I think that was a pretty good trip. I hope that you guys enjoy the time with that you're here with me. And we can talk more. Hopefully we can have a 
further conversation of why the Heat are some one of the greatest teams ever.